Welcome to 28 Days and Beyond. Where we talk about our history, our heritage, and our culture. I'm Amari. I'm Charisma. Welcome. Hey. Hi. How's it going? It's going. All How right. are you? I'm doing all right. Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> I'm giddy today. I don't know Clearly, why. Clearly, yeah. Maybe um, because the purple. Yeah, I don't know. I, I guess. Lavender, I don't actually. Know. Which is a shade of purple. Um, I don't know. But go ahead, continue. What's going on? Here What's up we with today? Go. <laughs> <laughs> What's up with today? What would you say, mm -hmm. Amari, mm -hmm. to the importance of having not only positive images of, of black people on television and in other um, entertainment spheres, but also the importance of having us have places where we can talk about where, whatever we want to? like whatever we want to, mm -hmm. much like 28 Days and Beyond. Yeah. See what I did there? I do, I see, I saw it. Well, what saw would it. you say to that? Sure, sounds good. Really, that's all sounds I get good. today? Yeah, but I'm wondering like, okay, positive images. Mm-hmm. The need for positive images grows out of a proliferation, huh, uh, uh, huh, uh, uh, huh, uh, uh. of negative images. This is true. But the positive or negativeness huh, of these images Here we go. is only relevant mm -hmm. within the larger context. Here's an example of what I mean. All <clears> right, because <throat> I'm, trying, I'm trying to follow you. The second part of what you said was ultimately saying, yo, we have to have our own media outlets. Yes, right? we do. We need to have our own media outlets. Well, if we had our own media outlet, not black exploitation television or any of that silliness, All right? right? I'm not talking about that. Let's say we had our own independent media outlets. Mm -hmm. We wouldn't need to have only positive images because positivity does not reflect the daily lived experience, right? In other words, positive and negative um, is just a part of, of everyday well, life, yeah. right? If we're going to tell full stories about us as, you know, a community of people, mm -hmm. we're going to have to touch upon the things that are quote unquote positive and the things that are quote unquote negative. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Well, to your point, there, uh, there I got is you there. so see, much. You thought you ain't know what I was no, doing at but, first. No, but yeah. I'm following mm -hmm. you yeah, because yeah. to your point, there is so much negative. There are so many negative images out there as exactly. it pertains to us right. that, you know, we need to find balance in that. So mm -hmm. I think that's kind of where I was going. Word. No, I understand what you you're know, saying. Yeah, with it, that. And that's why I said in relation to the second thing you said, mm -hmm. then that kind of to me, it alters the conversation a little it bit. Does. Are we not going to tell stories about uh, crime? Are we not going to tell stories about love and heartache? Mm -hmm. Right? Are we not going to tell stories about loss and you know reconnection? You see what I'm saying? We In need other words, it all. And that's what I'm saying. We need so it all. The, the, what makes it a positive or negative image? This is really what I what I'm ultimately getting at mm -hmm. is that we don't want white people to see us look bad. So we don't mm -hmm. like the idea that when we turn on the news, they're always talking about criminals and thugs. So in other words, our assessment of positive and negative is based off of how white people are perceiving us. Mm -hmm. That would change if we knew that white people weren't watching. We would be able to tell different stories in different ways. I want to hear more about what you have to say about I that. I want to hear more yeah. about what you have to say about <laughs> that and our guest today. And our guest, right, is uh, Daryl Reynolds, who mm -hmm. is a man of many hats, mm -hmm. many talents, right? Um, he has his own... Uh, talk show. He has several other things going on and we're going to get into all of that when we come back with more 28 Days and Beyond. Welcome back to 28 Days and Beyond. We are now joined by Daryl Reynolds. Thank AKA you. AKA D-Ray. Thank yes, you. Thank you for having me on. Thank Welcome. You. Now, Welcome. What's up, man? How you doing, bro? Doing good, man. How y'all? All right. Good. Everything's going well. That's good. That's good. Tell the people a little, a little bit about yourself. We know you have a, uh, a hit talk show. Thank you. Huh? Thank you. Blazing up the YouTube charts. What? Thank you, man. I'm trying. Yeah. <laughs> Slowly but surely gaining yeah. some momentum. Showtime. But uh, yeah, man, I'm trying. I'm trying. But um, nah, I just did the talk show, you yeah. know, this summer with, uh, you know, Hezzy's um, assistance and just, just keeping it going. Just yeah. Keeping it going. I think so much of this is just figuring it out, you know, in that stage I'm in now. So it's fun, though. It's fun. Like y'all, you know, y'all talk show was a huge inspiration with this space that y'all mm -hmm. in and everything. And We're inspiring the black youth. I know. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Youth. Exactly. And that's what it's about. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's what it's about. That's what it's about. What kind of stuff you yeah. touching on on your, uh, on your show? Stay tuned with D-Ray. Stay tuned, yeah. That's the name? Mm-hmm. Because you um, stay tuned to what D-Ray is. Exactly. exactly. It's always something. It's always something else. It's always something else. Good and bad at times, but it's always something else. But as far as just like, you know, we talk about, it's just everything but the general story, you know, I always tell people, um, he brought Chris Jenkins up there and I didn't ask him about the shot. Everybody knows about the shot. Mm -hmm. Everybody knows. Like, so, you know, I wanted to talk about things outside of that, the things that make athletes um, human, mm -hmm. you know what I mean, per se. And uh, I don't want it to just focus on athletes, we're getting away and, you know, getting, 
and to other figures, but uh, that first part, you know, with the Villanova basketball team, I wanted to kind of get away from, oh, you know, what is your attitude when you play this base play, or you did this play, or you got this stop? It's like, all right, cool, we've heard that a yeah. lot, uh, you know, yeah. you want to get away from that. So. That's what your man's hit him with the what? Exactly, what? exactly, <laughs> exactly, exactly, <laughs> constantly. So, so it really came from a place of you feeling like you weren't being heard or seen in a way that you wanted? Yeah, yeah, I think the show definitely pulled from a deficit of mine, mm. um, you know, in the sense of, this is about to sound narcissistic. I've Go ahead. said this out loud. I feel like I have a great story. Mm. And I feel like a lot of people around me have great stories. I feel like everybody has a great story. Mm. It's just, do you get the chance to tell it? Right. You know, so it, it definitely it definitely started from a deficit of mind. And the greatness mm -hmm. is in is in the things that aren't immediately seen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. all the yeah. supporting yeah. details. Exactly. There's yeah. so many things that, that tie into it. It's, it's funny. It's kind of how, like, multimedia, you know, works. In so many ways, you don't see what goes on. You get the final product. You know, you go to a theater, you see yeah. the movie. You don't see all the things that go into it. Well, that, that's actually what I want to ask you about, that man, mm -hmm. because you know it seems like, um, on the one hand, all right, check it. Uh -huh. I woke up he like said, this. Uh -huh. huh? I woke up like this, right? That whole idea is like, even our realness, right? Alicia yeah. Keys did the whole no makeup thing, but she was still wearing makeup, right? Okay. You see what I'm saying? So okay, even, I didn't know that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So she was still wearing that. makeup, right? But, 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 but did they I'm, find it out this year? Because that adds one more weird thing. It's been a lot of weird <laughs> stuff happening. <laughs> yeah. I ain't gonna touch <laughs> on all of like it. Yeah, I was about to say, we, we ain't even three job, months right, in, it's a lot going on. It's a lot. But what I'm saying is that like, you know, um, it's almost like, even when you're supposed to be raw mm -hmm. yeah. or keeping it real, you're still curating it, yeah. right? Oh, I didn't like that take. Let me delete yeah. it. And mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So how do you get down to the real story? Um, I think just, you know, being candid. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, um, with the show, a lot of the things that we talked about on camera for the first time were things that it was the first time me asking the questions. I mm -hmm. wanted to see what would happen, you know, when you catch somebody off guard. With how you catch questions. somebody off guard? Yeah, catch me off guard. Now it, I'm ready. I'm on guard. I'm on guard. How y'all choose the carpet? Say what? How did y'all choose, choose the carpet? I didn't. He had not. See, to do see, it. see what I'm saying? So we didn't talk about that off yeah, camera. Yeah, right, right, you could have came right, up yeah, with a whole yeah, story yeah. like, yeah, man, I was in Lowe's and there was this one dude. Yep. He was praying over the carpet. And then, and then. It's <laughs> like, nah, that, that, that didn't. That ain't happening. Yeah, you know what I mean? Happened. So, Still, nah, yeah. I, I like, like I said, I like the candidness of it. Um, and you know, to touch on your point, you know, with social media and everything, there's mm -hmm. so many things that are, you know, just it, it's set up. It's set up. It's framed to look a certain way. Yeah. And I, I, I've always had the most fun when it's just like, just go, you know, just have fun with it. And um, that's what I want the show to do. That's what it is doing. Sorry. See, speak that. But is it? But is that interesting? I like to think so. Mm. I like to think so. To be quite honest, um, you know, in doing the show, I've caught much slack. Much really? already, From yeah, what? yeah, exactly. Like where? Hate is gone. Uh, hate. Exactly, Potatoes exactly. Gone it, yeah, exactly, <laughs> exactly. I was trying to think of another one to follow up. I ain't got nothing. I, I got was you like, teamwork. Teamwork. I was like, tomatoes <laughs> going to make don't work, right? But um, but no, no, no. Like quite honestly, like you know, I remember uh, a gentleman that I you know um, through basketball. Mm -hmm. He hits me up afterwards. And he says, you know, to be honest, when I first saw this. I thought this was just you using your, um, you know, player profile to launch something else, and it was terrible. Mm. I now see that you actually have a knack for this and a passion for it, and it's just like, damn, if he thinks like that, how many people think right. that I'm just doing this to kind of get back in the spotlight or something like that? But at least if it doesn't work, you know, I'm, I'm going down being me. Right. You know what I mean? And that's, that's, that's pretty much how I've been dealing with it. You know, if it doesn't work or people don't like it, it's like, hey, I, I did it, like Frank said, I did it my way. Mm. Okay. You know what I mean? Huh? Yes. I did it. Well, <laughs> well we want to hear more about you doing it your way, but yeah. we have to take a little bit of a break. All right. I'm fine, All right. With, that. I'm fine <laughs> with that. We'll be back with more 28 Days and Beyond right after this. And we're back on 28 Days and Beyond with Dow Reynolds. The truth is, we keep it real with you. We keep it candid with you. Hey. We can go a million directions with you. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man. So what's up? Thank where you, you, where, where you. we going to go? I, I'm still trying to figure it out. You know, <laughs> uh, I mean, honestly, like you know, I, I've, I've said this story before. A huge part of the reason the talk show even happened was because I got an injury. It might yeah. be a career injury, injury. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure if my leg is going to heal up and I'll be able to play again. So, you know, it kind of just opened the door for all my other passions. Talk show, mm -hmm. you know, hosting being another one. And um, I just, I, I got to be honest, that's where the stay tuned thing came from. I, I stay don't, tuned. Yeah, exactly. Like, mm -hmm. I don't know where this is going. But just stay tuned. Fun with it. Ellipses. Exactly. Yeah, safe. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Definitely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm still there. You started that already. Yeah. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well um, right before you joined us on uh, the first segment, we were talking about the importance of having us in media spaces yes. where we're able to talk about everything. Yes. Um, Amari mentioned like this idea that we have to 
present ourselves a certain way because there's so many negative images mm -hmm. that are being portrayed so often that we have to like present ourselves in a certain way to mm -hmm. feel accepted. Um, but what would you say to the importance of just having us have spaces where we can talk about whatever we want, talk about these stories that people aren't hearing, be candid, be open, and just be ourselves? Um, to be honest, it, it kind of hits a nerve. It kind of mm -hmm. bothers me, the fact that we have to, we feel the pressure to uh, adjust our self-image or the way that mm -hmm. we present ourselves to fit into a society that quite honestly we make up. As far as the culture goes, like, you know, and I, I know, I know, I stick with me. But the idea that we control a lot of what's cool, what's hip, what's mm -hmm. new, whatever you want to call it, we are the culture in so many ways. Yeah. You know, people in East LA with X amount of dollars um, walking around with braids. Yeah. Oh, we know I who just, that came from. Wait, I got one better for you. Go ahead, go I on. literally just saw an image from Cosmo, I believe. Mm -hmm of a white young lady wearing a do-rag and they're oh, like yeah. oh the coolest new uh trend and i forget what yeah. they called it silky, but i was like silky, silky, yeah. Yeah. come on son yeah. that's <laughs> a do-rag that's a do-rag you get call it for it like it a dollar or and two at the corner store exactly exactly and, and what no, kills now, me, now you gotta pay yeah. about 120 for yeah and, like, and it kills yeah. me because it's like it, it you know like i said we we make that stuff up we make it cool mm -hmm. quite honestly it comes from like i said deficit it comes from we have to have style we have to have you know i don't think anybody still says flavor but you have to have a certain amount of, you Someone know. Someone just did say that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you have, no, no, no. But back. you have to have a, you know, you have to have a, a certain amount of just, just get it done type of attitude mm -hmm. about you, you know, when you come from certain conditions. And that's what makes us so yeah. cool. But check this out. You had mm -hmm. said, uh, basically, it, it touches a nerve. Yes. Um, now, somebody could be like, yeah, but the fact is, like, up until this point, all we have on TV are thugs and criminals, uh, yeah. you know. I don't want to say this word, but I'll say I'm um, uh, sexually promiscuous women. Okay, yes. right. Also, you got clowns yeah. in, in before. So remember, uh, remember, uh, uh, Lord Jesus, a fire. Yeah, right? yeah, or like, like or the news or the, what was the you know what's yeah. the other one? The hide your kids. Hide yeah, your yeah, yeah. I am delivered. Exactly. And, and that's, uh, and I am delivered. Yeah. So, but people be like, yo, well, why? That ain't us. That mm -hmm. don't represent us. Well, we know, we know that. Although we also know there are people like that. Yeah, yeah. Our concern is that there are other people who, who don't are looking at that, mm -hmm. and they think, that's, and they say, think that's all it is. Why that's does it. that matter to us? Why does that matter to us? Because why do that's we seek not their us. So because much? that's not us. It's okay. I get it. Like you said, quite honestly, yes, there are some of us that are like that. Word. There's a space for that. Mm -hmm. But there, and so I mean, look at what y'all doing. Like there are so many other avenues we can go down, mm -hmm. and ultimately we create the culture. You know what I mean? So the idea that we're marginal in the media, we're marginalized in the sense of art. Right, the only time they're seen is if they're on a reality TV show fighting and acting Throwing crazy, chairs. Mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. and doing crazy stuff, or they're on the news, you know, talking about things that are just. I'm not gonna say don't matter because nothing on the news really matters, but just, you know, it's, it's just off topics. And that's the only way we're portrayed as opposed to, no, we cover the entire spectrum. Right. You know, we're show all, us in all, all of our life. If you're gonna show us, show all of us. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That, that's why it hits a nerve because it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's a condensing, you know, attitude towards our people. And I just, that's what we're trying to change. That's what we are changing. You that's know, it's definitely changing. time for new rules, and that's what we are changing. Well, where can people follow you and support you on your journey, keep up with all things that you're doing, and where can they stay tuned with D-Ray? Oh, See what I hey, did there? I saw it. <laughs> I saw it. Uh, it's quite the, out there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the, uh, the Instagram page, stay tuned .network. Um mm -hmm. We put up a lot of our content on there. Obviously, the YouTube page, YouTube slash stay tuned um, with D-Ray. And... Um, you know, we're just building. I'm actually, I'm happy I get to announce this. We're about to franchise it. So it's not just about to be stay tuned with D-Ray. Wow. It's about to be stay tuned with some different people. We're about to get Very some different cool. faces in there for different topics. And um, it's going to be great. That's awesome. what's up, man. It's going to be great. Thank well, thank you so much for joining so us today. It's always great to have you, man. No, Thank you for having me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you. Oh, well, yeah. we look forward to seeing you. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be back with more 28 Days and Beyond right after this. We're back with more 28 Days and Beyond. Yes, we are. Yes, Charisma. Well, I didn't say Amara yet, but I was going to. <laughs> Check this out. What? Here you go. Here's an example I think that uh, hmm, crystallizes the exact concept. Okay. Back, all right. Okay. Check it. <laughs> um, two words for you. Okay. Tyler Perry. Thoughts. Medea. Medea? Yeah. That's the first thing I thought about when you On said that. On our production crew, Medea? No. No, not Tyler that, Perry's Medea. Yeah, not that Medea. And what is we your perception of Medea? You don't love that Medea. I don't love that Medea. Why not? Well, Go on. for a number of reasons. Keep it real. The, Keep it really real. 
Go ahead. Well, for me, um, it goes back to what uh, D-Ray said. Yeah. So for so long, so many of us have only been seen mm -hmm. as that, as mm -hmm. caricatures mm -hmm. of ourselves. Yep. We can only play the mammies. We can only play the loud, boisterous, yeah. in your face, sassy, sassy, mm -hmm. you know, over the top characters. Mm -hmm. And for so long, and now we're just starting to see more of not that, that it makes it difficult when you see that being portrayed and we're the people that are putting forth those images that that's why it's hard for me thank you very even much even though there's an audience for it because there much. is clearly, clearly there's clearly. an audience yeah. for it but so check this out here we go <laughs> watch how i land this point <laughs> look because this is the deal right um when 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 he started coming out with um uh family reunion and mm -hmm. and uh well, all those ones with shamar moore with the bad Remember he had a cornrow wig? What the heezy? Listen, what was that about? That cornrow <laughs> wig. That was the worst Why thing I've seen. Doing? Anyway, the point is, the point <laughs> of what I'm trying to get at though is like when when those movies were coming out, I guess that was around That was like late 06, 07, 08, right? whenever yeah, it was. It was like the like, early 2000s. Or 2000s, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody was like, "Oh my god, how dare he? He exploiting he this that well, and the third, everybody. right?" Well, not everybody. Obviously people were going to see the movies, but you know what he was doing before he was doing movies? Mm. He was doing he was plays. On the plays, yeah, the plays. And he was selling out everywhere he went on the Chitlin circuit. He was going all of these different places, and everybody loved it then. It but was you so know what's funny crazy? when he was at the VHS. Yeah. They were like, "Yo, come to the come to the common area." But you know what's crazy, Amari? Even with that, like, I don't know if you noticed because, like, I had to do uh, press junkets. This was a couple years ago. Yeah. Um, and then maybe two years ago, I actually met Tyler Perry, and he uh -huh. was, it was for one of I think it was Medea Halloween. Mm -hmm. Very nice man. Very grounded. Very down to earth. He started trying to do other types of films and branching out, and those did not do as well. But, but the point that I'm ultimately getting at is this. It's not cooning unless it's done in front of white people. Black people loved Tyler Perry when he was doing the plays. It wasn't until he got on the, main, you know, the mainstream, the, mm -hmm. big sc the big screen, when everybody was seeing Medea, uh, you know, basically cooning. I was like, oh my God, how dare he? But mm -hmm. before that, when it was just us, when it was a closed audience, it was like, mm -hmm. oh yeah, this is so funny. We could enjoy it for what it was because we knew that that didn't represent all of us. But right. it did represent people that we know. Yeah. Is that when that's put in front of a law, it's like, oh no, we don't want this to be a poor reflection. And my ultimate point is, why do we care? That's a valid question. It is. We'll get into that. Uh -huh. on another episode. <laughs> this has been 28 Days and Beyond. Where we talk about our history, our heritage, and our culture. We'll see you next time.